Now, it's nearly 18 months since American Anne Sekoulis was accused of causing the death of 19-year-old Harry Dunn by dangerous driving. Harry was hit while riding his motorbike, but Anne controversially, as I'm sure you remember, flew back to the States claiming diplomatic immunity. Well, Harry's mother, Charlotte, has been campaigning ever since to get Anne Sekoulis ex extradited back to the UK. She's now, though, appealing to the new US President, Joe Biden, directly. We've been living now without Harry for 16, 17 months. We've not been able to start to rebuild our lives. Every day is excruciatingly painful still. And you quite rightly said that absolutely nobody is above the law. May I please, please ask you to review the case of my son, Harry Dunn. I miss my son. Please, President Biden, help me. Please send and Sekoulis back to the UK to face our justice system. Well, Harry's mum, Charlotte, joins me now. That really was a plea from the heart, Charlotte. I don't see how anyone could be failed to be moved by that. And there is, there is hope now, isn't there? With the change um, of regime, if you like, with the change of a president, you, you're more hopeful now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, my plea to President Biden, um, needs to to really reach reach over to him and we sincerely believe that he has received my plea um we are very hopeful you know rad our spokesperson bless him he's been continuing to have talks with senior officials both in london and in washington um those talks are picking up momentum and we do we do hold out a lot of hope we are we are feeling quite positive and I suppose, Charlotte, in a way, when you when you look at um, President Biden and you look at his past history, he's probably mm -hmm. one of the few people who knows what you're going through because he went through it himself. He lost a child in a, in a road accident, different circumstances, of course, but he knows that pain, and and I'm sure he will he will absolutely empathise with you. Yeah, we certainly hope so. I mean, obviously, we've we've done a lot of homework on him. We've been studying him prior to the fact that he got into presidency. Um, we were desperately hoping that he would. And absolutely, you know, we hope that he's a, a president with a lot more heart um, and clearly can sympathise and not just empathise. So we just hope to goodness, you know, he sticks to his words that he's mentioned in a lot of his speeches leading up to the inauguration. You know, he believes in in the rule of law, upholding the rule of law. He believes that, you know, nobody is above the law, no matter who you are and what you do. Mm. So we're just pleading with him. I'm pleading with him to, to stick to those words and, and do the right thing and sure. make sure that Anne Sekoulis faces the UK justice system. Now, because, we, because of your sorry, campaigning... No, 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 I was just going to say, what's remarkable is in the middle of your grief... Um, and I know it's been 18 months, but I bet it just feels like yesterday. But in the middle of all of your grief, you have been able to campaign, of course, and you've changed the law. You've, you've, you've managed to, to stop that loophole so that allowed Anskoulis to, to leave. Um, so this hopefully will not happen again to someone else because you have been mm -hmm. through such pain. Yeah, we're really proud of that. That's one proud moment that we've got during the campaign. Um, it can definitely not happen to anyone again, you know, second to getting Anne Sekoulis to the UK justice system was always going to be to make sure that another, another family wouldn't be put through the suffering that we are still enduring every day. You know, we're very, very aware of the fact that Harry is gone. We're very, um, we are very aware that he's not coming back, but to live without your justice is beyond painful, mm. just beyond painful. Every day is still excruciatingly hard. You know, you drag yourself through it and you, you just have to look forward. And the campaign has given me a focus and it's mm. given me a, a route. It's given me um, a path to be able to cope with my anger, um, maybe direct some of the grief, but 
we still haven't been afforded the time yet to grieve properly. But yeah, we've we've done some good things in the campaign, and we've still got to. Still got to obtain our number one objective, but yeah. we'll get there because I'm not giving up. No, you're not. You're a very determined woman and you've had to be a very determined woman. I mean, there's been a lot of setbacks. Um, there's been a, a lot of problems on the road. It's not, been a, it's not been an easy one, that's for sure. What keeps you going? What, what is it that keeps you going? Um, I'm a mum. I'm a wife. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I'm an auntie. You know, you could go on forever, but... They need me, um, I need them, and I need to make Harry proud. Um, and his twin brother, Niall, you know, he's, he's, he's what I get up for every single day. And it is hard, you know, I'm not saying it's, not saying it's easy. You know, there are many, many days where I do not want to get out of bed. I don't want to put any makeup on. I don't want to do my hair and I do have my pajama days and, and my duvet days, but you have to just take a deep breath, remind myself of the promise that I made to Harry. And when I made that promise to him on the night that we lost him, that justice would be done, you know, that promise goes hand in hand to his twin brother, Niall. You know, that's what gets me out of bed yeah. every day. I am just absolutely driven to make sure that this promise is completed because without doing that, I, I can't begin to rebuild my life and therefore I can't re begin to rebuild my family's life. And that is so important because Harry was just larger than life. He loved life. He, he was just coming into his own. You know, he, he treated every day as a new adventure. Um, I owe it to him to do the same. Oh, Charlotte, it's just so sad, isn't it? It's just so, so sad. And I know that you have been, you know, obviously we're in the middle of this pandemic, which doesn't make it easy for you to be able to do this. But I know you do go to visit his favourite place where his ashes are scattered and you can sit there and just think about your boy and remember him. Yeah, um, it's extremely difficult to leave once you're there. Um, it's very, very hard. I think, I imagine it will become easier once once justice is done, because although we've scattered his ashes and laid his ashes to rest as such, I don't feel that he's at rest until we are. Um, and we're not going to be able to rest until that justice is completed. So we love it down in Weymouth, we or Portland, where he is. I mean, it's a beautiful, serene place to be, um, even on the worst horrific um, weather days that the UK throws at us. Um, you always feel a sense of warmth down there, um, but it's yeah. it's um, extremely difficult to, okay, to walk is. away. Of course it is, of course it is. We wish you all the very best. Um, obviously, keep in touch with us. We wish you all the very best. I mean, you need to, you need to be able to get some rest yourself. It's been so very, very hard for you. We really sympathise. Yeah. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Thanks thank for you. having me again. It's nice to see you. Oh, and you. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.